Washington, D.C. to return home to their constituents. One big topic of conversation here in Massachusetts is the fate of the Affordable Care Act, more commonly known as Obamacare. Our Blair Miller caught up with Congresswoman Nikki Songus about the future of the law considering the new administration. Congresswoman Nikki Songus spending part of her congressional recess bringing medical professionals to the table. In the long run, it saves costs to the whole system. She strongly opposes repealing Obamacare and listen to the concerns from doctors and nurses and at Haywood Hospital. To me, it's just a travesty. Family physician David Havlin didn't hold back on his concerns of the White House following through on a campaign promise to repeal the Affordable Care Act. I don't think their eyes are open. I think uh, they're looking from a older model of uh, what the government provides for you. Songus talked about her own struggle in health care, recalling the days of her husband's cancer diagnosis and a fear of losing insurance because of pre-existing conditions, something she doesn't want to go away. There will be close to a million uh, uh, residents of the Commonwealth that could lose coverage if that protection uh, around pre-existing conditions goes away. Her other concerns, an increase in premiums, no more free preventative care, and no longer allowing children to remain on their parents' plan until they're 26. Well, I think the big worry is, is that we don't know what the changes will be. It's really the fear of the unknown. While most here support the current... Them. Some here said the previous administration did a poor job of selling it to the American people. Congresswoman Songus agrees, but says going back to Washington, she'll be fighting to keep certain parts of it. This is a change that cannot be easily absorbed into the Commonwealth of Massachusetts, nor should it be uh, absorbed because tremendously good things have come of it. President Trump says he's eager to make changes, but seamless changes to try to minimize the impacts. But his staff says... Any of those changes may not be revealed until March the earliest. In Gardner, Blair Miller, back to you.